Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, called the top on the market. Not exactly, but he's selling half his stake in Apple. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I agree based on the valuation math. Valuation math looks at the earnings of the business and makes a judgment. I'm going to show you my worksheet and why I agree and why you probably should too. If you notice, it looks like Apple did top out. Warren Buffett didn't call the actual top. From what I read, he was selling a little bit on the way up, a little bit early. Apple's 209 now, the high was around 230, let's say. But here's the important part. The earnings yield right now is quite low. The PE is 3280. So that's roughly a 3% yield. And a value investor would want to beat treasuries, beat bonds. So just based on this PE alone, new money, it wouldn't attract new money according to the methodology of Warren Buffett. When he bought previously, he was getting something like a 8% yield, which is maybe 11, 12 PE, something like that. And this is three times more expensive after it's had that huge growth growth and now it looks like it's slowing down. Here's the worksheet I was talking about and I keep track of the mega cap, Magnificent 7, let's call them. And the S&P is yielding almost 5% as of right now. And if we look at Apple, it's only yielding 3.1% at this current price, which we've, we've had a few red days. So it's come down a bit, but this yield, the earnings compared to the price is 3%. A value investor would want to get more than treasuries. Treasuries are four and change. So what that means is there's not a, enough reward to beat the bonds. You're just banking on the growth to get your return. And that's not what a value investor would want to do. A value investor, for example, would want to buy a house with a lot of rent cash flow coming in. They wouldn't want to overpay for a house and hope it goes up with a low rent yield. That's just an easy way to explain it. This is the Apple monthly chart and down below I have an earnings yield. Earnings yield, it's the PE backwards. It just, it's like a interest rate equivalent of earnings. And if you look now, it's only a 3.1 earnings yield. Now, when Warren Buffett was investing initially, he was buying in around 2018 and he was getting five, six, seven, as high as 8% yield. And then Apple, of course, kept growing. And now the yield at this higher price, the yield is low. So could this be the top? It's hard to say, but all we know is that the earnings are low for this high price. When Buffett was buying in 2018, he was paying something like two to three times sales or two to three times revenue. And right now it's eight times revenue. So it's easy to see why Warren Buffett wouldn't want to keep Apple, especially if he perceives better deals on the way. He's got that huge profit. What was it? Something in the, uh, it, it's, I believe it's split. So 30, $37 and 200 and something dollars so that's a nice big juicy return in uh say five six years he's gonna take it he's gonna redeploy at better attractive deals and then i'm using seeking alpha here seeking alpha analysts they predict with the forward earnings for apple these growth year over year growth rates they're a lot wimpier than they used to be Apple grew over the past 30 years, something like 20 to 30% year after year. And maybe these growth rates aren't really that attractive for this price. Maybe if the price was lower, it would be more attractive. Maybe if the growth rates were higher, it would be more attractive. But maybe this is a good time to take some money off the table and find better deals or wait for a, a recession or a sell off or any opportunity because bonds are paying four to five percent. That's government bonds. I'm sure you can get six or seven percent in corporate bonds while you wait. And 
just for the record since 2009 what a beautiful chart this was around two dollars and change and this is a hundred bagger so since 2008 2009 to 2024 what is that 17 what is that is that a uh, 16 15 years this is a 100 bagger so it, it wouldn't be surprising that hey maybe it's had a great run for now and maybe it's due for a pullback let me know if you agree with that in the comments and like and follow for more